Hi guys, and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the end of support for Windows 10. So today is the 13th of October, 2025. Tomorrow on the 14th of October, Windows 10 will reach its end of support, meaning that Windows 10 will no longer get any feature or security updates. This is bad news for Windows 10 users because Windows 10 will become very vulnerable to malware attacks. So of course, you have to do something before Windows 10 ends its support. In this video, we're gonna talk about what you can do. And of course, if you enjoyed videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. Of course, the first thing that would come in mind is that we can upgrade to Windows 11, but for most Windows 10 users, that's not the case because they either don't want to upgrade to Windows 11 or they don't have a compatible computer that can be upgraded to Windows 11. If you're interested in this first thing to upgrade to Windows 11, make sure to check out some of my previous videos that I've done about this on how to upgrade to the latest version 25H2, but this video will be especially made for those who want to stick with Windows 10 and would want to keep getting updates for a while longer. So in this video, we're going to talk about the SEU or the Extended Security Updates Program for Windows 10. This Extended Security Updates Program will allow you to keep getting Windows 10 security updates until the 13th of October 2026, so for another year. So you may be asking, well, how can I get into this program? First of all, you have to meet some requirements, of course. You're going to have to check if you have the latest version installed of the operating system. So of course, you're going to need to have Windows 10 22H2 Home Professional Pro or Workstation. And of course, make sure to open up the settings app, go to Windows Update, Inside Update and Security, and make sure you click on Check for Updates because you need to have all the latest updates installed. If it says you're up to date, you're good to go. Now you're also going to have to connect with a Microsoft account if you didn't do that already, because of course, one of the requirements for this program is is to be connected with a Microsoft account. So in the settings app, you can search for account, click on manage your account. And from here, we're gonna have the option to sign in with a Microsoft account. One thing that you need to keep in mind about the extended security updates program is that it cannot be used for commercial devices. So companies will most likely have to upgrade to Windows 11. Now, some other things that you need to keep in mind, how much the Windows 10 SEU cost? Normally it would cost $30 per year, but Microsoft also allows us to have this at no cost if we are syncing our PC settings or we are redeeming a thousand Microsoft reward points from the Microsoft Store or if you are in the European Economic Area, you're getting all of these for free with no additional requirement. Now let's move on on how to get this Windows 10 Extended Security Updates program if you meet all the requirements that I've talked about. Open up the Settings app, scroll down a bit, go to Update and Security and inside the Windows Update section, you should see Windows 10 support ends in October 2025. Enroll in Extended Security security updates to help keep your device secure. You have the button enroll now. Well, the problem is that a lot of you may not see this message, even if you have all the requirements and you are up to date with your Windows operating system. The fix for that is really simple. So before enrolling in the SEU, I'm going to show you how to get this message to appear on your Windows update. You're going to have to open up the search box, type in here registry, and then click on registry editor. On your account control, of course, click on yes. Inside the registry editor, you're going to have to expand each key card user, then expand software then expand Microsoft, then scroll down a bit to Windows NT and expand it, expand current version, and then you're gonna have here Windows, expand Windows. Inside this Windows folder, you should see the consumer SEU folder with two keys inside of it. If you don't see it, you're gonna have to right click on Windows, new, and then key, and then name it consumer SEU as it is named here, and then create two DWORD 32-bit values. One of them should be named SEU eligibility and the other SEU eligibility eligibility result. After you created both of these registries, double click on each one. The first one, SU eligibility should be with the valid data 2 and the second one, SU eligibility result valid data to 1. And once you have these two DWORD 32-bit values created, make sure to exit out from the registry editor and then restart your computer so the changes would take effect. And after the restart, once you open up the settings app, you should go into updating security again and it should have the banner that allows you to enroll in the extended security update. Update. Now let's click on enroll now. It's gonna open up a new window that will allow us to enroll in the SEU. As you can see, enroll in extended security updates to say protected. Support ends on October 14th. Get extended security updates to keep your Windows 10 device
my safer then click on next and as you can see these are the options that we have for the extended security updates we can back up our pc settings save your settings apps and credentials so that it can move to a new windows 11 pc after the su ends we can also redeem microsoft reward points but as you can see i don't have enough or you can purchase it for 30 dollars per device of course the best way would be to back up our settings and of course if you are in the european economic area you're going to be able to do this without any of these options now after we select back up your pc settings let's click on next as you can see get extended security updates at no cost by backing up your pc settings your apps settings and other info won't be backed up because your microsoft account isn't syncing with windows you can still enroll in extended security updates program at no cost so as you can see here we're basically going to get extended security updates until october 13th with no extra cost and let's click on enroll and as you can see it is enrolling our device in the extended security updates after we've done all the steps if you receive this message you've reached your device limit if you want to enroll this device in extended security updates you'll need to unlink a device from your microsoft account this can happen if you have a lot of devices with the same microsoft account so there are very small chances this will happen to you but it happened to me so in this case just click on manage your devices it's going to open up your microsoft account and then just make sure to unlink a device for example i'm just going to unlink this device and then after it says device unlinked click on close and exit out of the browser and click on the enroll button again so that it's going to enroll you to the extended security updates next again add device and as you can see we're now successfully enrolled in the extended security updates through october 13 2026 and this is great news because we can now get updates for another year if we want to stay on windows 10 we can click on done and then we can click on check for updates and also you can see that our pc is enrolled to get extended security updates check for updates make sure you're up to date and we are good to go this is how you can stay on windows 10 safely for another year if you want to find more information and all the steps that i've done in this video in depth check out the article below in the video description and also make sure to leave a like below if this video was useful and subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one and also make sure to answer the question of the day if you're currently using windows 10 what will you do upgrade to windows 11 or enroll in the extended security updates program these things being said i was emmanuel from tech base until next time i wish you all a nice day